have our own retail space ready to build the baby bear bakery. I am so excited. Welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to some more rugs to riches. And I am excited today because check this out. There is a baby in the household. It's not in the little family picture so far with like Doggo and Sheps, but it is there. And I can't tell. I don't think this color changes based on whether it's a boy or a girl. So I don't currently know whether the baby is or a boy or a girl. You guys have had some really cool name suggestions. There's been a lot of like um like naturey suggestions, like men and Espen and like beautiful names. I have one name which I really want to use, but it depends on the baby being a boy. So if it is a boy, I will tell you what it is. And if not, I'm going to keep it a secret just in case they have another baby because then I can name, if it's a boy, I can name it um, this name. So this, it was a name suggested by you guys as well. And it's a name I absolutely love, love, love. So I'm nervous, but let's get into it. Let's go ahead and play some Rags to Riches and let's do our baby gender review. Kapow. I really, really want a boy, like, so much, but let's just see what we get. I also think um, the idea of Yona with, like, a little baby boy, like, his little son and, like, teaching up stuff is really, really freaking cute. And oh my gosh, what is with my Sims and just, like, showing no signs of pregnancy or bouncing back from pregnancy? I don't even understand, but these two little cutie pop- oh, wait, I just arrived, what you guys are about to go do? Oh, well, you guys are being so freaking cute. And if there is a baby, clearly it's not being looked after. It's not crying, though. I actually still don't know whether it's a boy or a girl because I don't know what the- I've got, like, CC for how babies look, so I don't know. I'm gonna, like, scroll over and see what it is. Okay, we're ready. Three, two, one. Patrick! All over the place! Patrick! Patrick! Patrick Collins! That means it's a boy! That means I can use the name that I wanted to use! Um, 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 can I not rename it so it becomes a toddler? Oh, I can't do anything to it until it becomes a toddler. <gasps> oh my gosh, is someone getting attacked by bees? I feel like, yeah, Willow is. But, um, let me put a big crib there. Wait, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm, not, oh, I'm so flustered. I was so all over the place. I wanna know if, um, we can, oh, you're gonna have to resume this planter because I wanna know if we can, um, like make a baby crib out of wood. Don't you think just like building wood would be so freaking cute? But um, I will tell you, don't worry. I know, I know I'm like dragging this out. Uh, let me just get the crib real quick. Cause even if we build one, I can't just have the baby floating this whole time. That's just like really kind of selfish to do to a baby. So the name I want to use, the name that you guys suggested and I actually love so much is Coda, which does mean bear. Let me find out what thing, like what, where it means bear. It is a form of Dakota and it means the ally or little bear, which is so freaking cute. And this is the name of Native American people in the Northern Mississippi area. So not only is it, oh, uh, yeah, someone needs to come and care for this baby. Willow, you're not doing anything. <laughs> not only is it like, ah, and the sheep is out. Sorry, not only is it like adorable, but it's also like relevant to Yona's heritage. So there's just so many reasons why I love it so, so much. And yeah, I feel like it's the perfect name. So thank you guys so much for suggesting it. I'm so excited to see how he's going to look. Can I craft? They're just sculptures. Can I not craft like a baby, um, a crib? Oh, don't you think that would have been so cute to be able to craft a crib? Why is that not a thing I can do? That's so sad. And oh my gosh, can you not reach the baby? Like, like, stop. Come and look after the baby, please. Oh, she's saying she can't reach it. This is the annoying thing about having to place babies. There's some kind of art to it and it ain't easy. Ah, why can't you reach it? You're driving me crazy. There we go. Okay, you have to push it a little bit further back. How do I do, like, live mode? There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, uh... <laughs> Her glasses are in the way, but that's- oh my gosh. Okay, Willow, not the best candidate for live mode. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's kind of a mess. First person mode even. 
And I need to move the sheeps back into their pen because having wild, it's just the one. A wild sheep is uh, just not ideal, is it? There we go. Don't worry, they still get like attention and loves and stuff. In fact, they look like they need some brushes. It's not like cruelly uh, like keeping them in the pen. It's just like for their own safety and um, just, I don't know. I, I feel kind of weird walking a sheep. I don't know why, but I just do. <laughs> I'll help you out by getting rid of some of this fluff. Ooh, and this is always a good sign. When they do stuff like change their diet, diapers and like no to feed them like she just changed its dirty diaper there without me having to tell her it's always like a good sign in my books because it makes me feel like quite positive about the idea that they are a good parent <laughs> which is always nice i find so this is like extra hard work now because we're trying to balance a baby and a farm so there's quite a lot uh, ahead of us here oh why have we just got loads of <laughs> strawberries why why just go plant a strawberry there? That's such an annoying place. No, you can't do that. Although I could have some little straws growing in this. But because I've got this planter that I accidentally made because I wanted uh, like the little planters for the front of the house, but we built the wrong ones because they've got such simpler names. And I, I kind of also feel like financially, everything's feeling like a little bit too easy at the moment. We got money. The farm seems to be going pretty well. Like everything seems weirdly okay so i'm kind of nervous kind of nervous that something might go wrong <laughs> maybe now actually that we're doing a little bit better financially we could sort of look into like i don't really quite know how to do the bakery but i feel like we should be like branching out to bakeries the thing is i'd have to buy like a business wouldn't i so i don't really know how to do that so we definitely don't have enough money for a business ideally like chase would give us fire in the flames but it's tied to the house like it doesn't really work like that which is a little bit of a shame and if i cook stuff and like put it on the little baking stand outside nobody seems to buy anything for it which is also kind of rubbish oh we've got a koi oh that's so cool yona come and do your business uh not yona yona's your husband not your dog uh bjorn come do your business so we can head back please kind of feel like she'd be worried about staying away from little baby uh cody for too long oh my gosh like there's a lot of names here i'm worried i'm gonna start forgetting some you've been fishing for long enough come and cook us some dindins on these cool fish i kind of feel bad there's like some weird like fish like racism going on here but cool fish get to go in there so oh look at the koi we've got these at our garden center and i'd love to get some so much but the cats would have lanigans eating them absolute lanigans but yeah stuff like minnows and perches they get eats <laughs> i feel really bad but they get eats and then the other fish uh do you just drop the fish on the floor i just saw that the other fish get to go in the tank it's kind of really messed up and mean oh my gosh look at this he actually put two little plates out oh no that's from yesterday oh i see okay <laughs> and i feel like we're actually eating at 8 p.m at night we didn't do this pre-baby like <laughs> What is going on? I'm super confused. I do really want to buy like a... Is it a retail store? I want to buy a retail store. Should well, I just... Not, should I just like see you. like what's <sighs> on the market? Could I just buy like a lot and put like a little tiny bakery on it? These ones are all taken up, but honestly, like I never use them. 71,000 pounds. <sighs> oh, I really want the baby bear bakery though. Like, I don't care massively about these. I could knock this down. If I bulldoze a lot, <gasps> if I bulldoze a lot, I'm only $200 off. Okay, gang, we've got a new focus and a new goal. This has got to be part of Rags to Riches. We need to get to the bakery level. That would just literally be the absolute goal. Can you do bakery as a retail lot? I'm really hoping that you can. Do I have to do it as a restaurant? Then I'm gonna have to do some Googling just to find out what the right answer is here. <gasps> I need a cash register, refrigerator display, and places to sit. And then just stuff like a fridge, sink, counters, cupcake factory, and a trash can. Have a garden at the bakery or at home so that you can get strawberries pears cherries potatoes and carrots and i should buy myself the marketable tray oh i have enough it's 1500 satisfaction points marketable <gasps> and if i pay, place baked goods in a warming rack without putting them for sale customers can take a serving you can use this see this as a tasting <gasps> oh my gosh this is getting exciting oh my gosh i want to have a bakery so much oh yona can um like grow with everything for me i can run the bakery this is so exciting okay we have to make this a reality let's work so hard tomorrow and try our bestest to make this a reality 
because it has to be okay yona's already in bed he's all he's already like to achieve great things you must first sleep well. Where is Doggo? Doggo, you're meant to come in for the night to sleep with us. Where are you at? Oh, you're in the night. You're in. Good, good, good. Good little Bjorn. Oh, but yep. Babies are going to make the dream a little bit harder because while Bjorn may be sleeping on the sofa, looking adorable, we do have baby screaming his lungs out in here. Did you notice as well that like baby crying used to wake people up? It doesn't do it in The Sims anymore. I don't really know why. I feel like Willow's done a little bit more today, so you're going to have to wake up and do this, okay? Well, ain't this just adorable? Look how hairy he is. I really hope the baby looks like him. I think as well, so uh, you guys were saying that he should have green eyes. So when we do like the toddler edits, I will do Yona's edits as well. Because I kind of want to change his hair up. I've downloaded this Viking hair and I think it would look really cool on him. So I kind of want to do that. Just to try out, just to try out, you know? Okay, I'm back to sleep again. Be like, we're somehow managing this really well. I'm feeling proud of my gang right now. The four bears and the three cattle. <laughs> oh, and baby's up again. It's your turn this time, Willow. Oh, it's a diaper. Change his diaper and then give him some love. And then Doggo needs to go toilet. So leash up and bring him out. All baby bears must be cared for. Both human and animal pets. Yeah, I'd get used to early mornings because I feel like as a... As a pet, a, a pet owner. As a baby owner. As a mother. There we go. As a parent. You're probably going to be uh, seeing them quite a lot. Look, I've got your breakfast all ready for you on the counter. I'm helping you out. I know it's hard being a new parent and a farmer at the same time. Okay, today is the day where if we get this right, if we get this right, we could... Oh, hello. <laughs> Going through with the little wee-wees. Uh, if we get this right, we'll definitely get a bakery by the end of today, okay? Do we have bills to pay? That could kind of uh, ruin my chances a little bit. We don't. Okay. We've got some more woodworking to sell, but Yona, if you can get on it with a little bit more, that would be... Oh. Okay, I should definitely have repaired that toilet and not sold it. That's put us back a little bit, but I didn't want him to wee himself, so... It's fine. Willow's gonna focus super hard on the bakery today. Oh, and the baby's crying. Okay, fine. I'll focus on the baby first. And then we're gonna focus hard on the bakery. Does anything need doing in the garden? Yeah, lots needs doing in the garden. Oh gosh, and what's this? Chase's current... I don't know, interest is texting me. No, I know we used to be friends, but I don't know what the deal is with you and my farms. I'm not really like there for it, so no. No thanks. Instead, let's sell some Yona Bear sculptures, please. We need to get to 2,000 yeah. pounds, and I already kind of put us on a back foot with, you know, the Arabic. whole uh, not repairing the toilet. That. that was so definitely cool. my bad. But look at this, we've got bear Bruno sculptures. Bruno we have to make a bear sculpture, by the way. And Bruno oh my gosh, Bruno. what's this Bruno. cute sculpture? Bruno. A flirty sculpture. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute. Oh, yes, people love the sculptures, you guys. Oh, 2,000! <laughs> we already got enough, you guys. We already got enough, but we might as well try and sell as much as we can today. Because we're going to have to build a bakery. The more that you can build here in the garden, Yona. Oh my gosh, I know you're super tired. But the more you can build in the garden for the bakery, the better it will be for us. It brings our like prices down a lot. We've got some wool we can sell to the market as well. This is grand. Oh, and Chase is calling. In fact, I need to invite around Chase and Will to see the baby, don't I, before I age it up. Oh man, people love the sculptures. They actually love them so much. Maybe some days you only come to the bakery and we'll give him like a stand like this. And he can try and sell some of his sculptures at the bakery too. That would be so cute. Like a little dual business thing. Oh, and this whole time I kind of forgot about the baby. It's fine. It seems fine. But yeah, I definitely just totally forgot about the baby for a little while there. Oh, I am going to make a worrying mother one day. Okay, and since again, I feel like we've sort of finished our day in like worryingly a uh, good time. I'm going to go ahead and invite Chase and Noelle over because, you know, they are the fans. And I sort of feel like Nathan also gets included in this fun stuff as well at the moment, which is nice because he has fans as well. <laughs> That's kind of why. And look, she's showing uh, Noelle the sheeps and stuff. That's cute. Well, doesn't really strike me as a farm girl. In fact, she looks pretty annoyed about being in a farm in general, but still, at least she wanted to come and check it out. And oh, look at that. It's nice family time eating the fishy again with Chase's new appearance as well. I think he's looking way better. Is it just me or is it quite dark in here as well? We like not have an overhead light. Oh, wow. I was going to get this, but... <laughs> It would kill us all. And oh, look at this now. You can actually see. Oh, you, you can't see the light. <laughs> can you never see the light? Like, it's definitely there, but you can't can't see it in like zoom in and out mode. What about if I put a roof on? 
Have I just never noticed that you never could see top lights before? That's super annoying. Like, I wanted to be able to see the top light. But since these guys are here and it means somebody's like staying at home to look after the baby and they can like get to know him and bond with him, um, I think since they're here, we should like go ahead and check out the retail spot. Because I think we should be able to afford it right now. If we buy it bulldozed. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, I should put some money in the business. I'll just like put 500 to start it with. And is this, is this a space? Oh my gosh, it's right like in the middle of the town. <gasps> This is gonna be like so freaking cute. I, I literally can't even handle it. I mean, the weather right now might be pretty shocking here, but we have our own retail space ready to build the baby bear bakery. I am so excited. Like this episode has been awesome so far. We've got the bakery. We've got a sun. Like I'm hoping this stall here isn't gonna take away too much of my bakery, but it's like not too big. It's like a cute size. I'm super, super excited. Okay, we've got a while before we can open it. Uh, we need to like build stuff for it. And we also need to get like, I feel like we need to just practice our baking quite a lot leading up to it, but I'm so excited. A re like not a practice one or like one that our parents just built for us for lols. This is a real baby bear bakery. Like this is the real thing. This is what we've trained for. This is where our life has been leading to, to this point. And Yona's yeah, chatting yeah. with the farms being like social and things are just going it's super awesome oh my gosh look at them doing the little oh that's cuteness i'm surprised noelle can even do that since she's an elder i haven't seen what your guys' response is to whether i de-age her yet but this is just such a nice wholesome happy episode and I'm so hyped to start the bakery. Tomorrow is going to be a hard day of graft. Like, it's so nice you guys are here, but like, I need you to leave now so we can get some serious training underway. And in fact, why don't we uh, celebrate our very exciting news with some beautiful uh, woo woo action. I think it's, oh, Yona's sick. Yona's pretty sick looking, but that ain't stopping them. Okay, Nathan's got the right idea. He's like, yeah, absolutely peace out right now. And hopefully the baby is also going to stay quiet just for a little while. Just while we do some like reconnecting of ourselves as a couple. Baby's just staring at me. I feel like as well because Yona's got green eyes and Willow's got green eyes. There could be a green eyed baby right here. Oh my gosh, Nathan, stop planting my strawberries here. I don't even want them there. <gasps> it's almost Patrick's birthday. I'm pretty sure you mean Coda, but okay. And the baby's been up in the night three times already. Thanks, Coda. Really making our day of extreme stream work super easy oh oh today's the lottery these are the one people i would not want to win the lottery but they get sad if you don't buy a ticket so you can buy a ticket okay yana your job is switched from creating stuff we can sell outside to creating things that we can decorate the bakery with and willow you are gonna bake like there's no tomorrow bake like it is going out of fashion and oh my gosh forgot about the baby again <laughs> trust me he's been really well cared for they're both like leveling up their uh parenting really quickly it's just every now and again i totally space and forget that we have to like look after the inside of the house and oh my gosh chase is still here oh hi chase in fact chase is trying to help us with little baba Roo. <laughs> Which is cute. It would have been cute if both twins had had a baby at the same time. And, like, they'd have been little friendos. But, unfortunately, like, I can't see Chase having a baby anytime soon. Chase, the nappy is dirty. Like, literally, the nappy is dirty. Come on, it's just a nappy change. I feel like you've got this. No more snuggling, nappy changing. Oh, bless him. He's cute, but simple. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Willow's just got that my body is terrible from being pregnant. Please, please don't tell me she's pregnant again. She's been thrown up in the toilet, hasn't she? Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. This is not, this is, th I, I knew we were gonna make things harder, but I didn't think we were gonna make things this much harder. Oh my gosh, we can't have another one. We can't have another one. We just bought the bakery. Please, please, please. Oh, she is, she is. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant again. No, no, look at her face. Even she knows, she knows that she's like, this, uh, don't freak out, but apparently I'm pregnant again. Chase is, <laughs> look at Chase's unimpressed face. 
guys. Chase just been like, are you guys simple? Are you guys actually simple? Why are we pregnant again? Guys, no, 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 no. I don't want this. I don't want this. Oh, and it's back to watering the plants with our tears because life is not going the way we expected. Not at all. Like, can't believe she's pregnant again. Oh, this is not the life I envisioned. This is not what I wanted. Things are not going to plan. Chase is calling. He's got twin tuition. I was about to say he's got twin tu twin tuition tuition that she's pregnant, but I mean he was literally right there when she announced it. So beautiful moment for them both, but still. Oh my gosh, my biscotti is selling for a lot of money nowadays. Oh, it's because I got the marketable thing. Okay, that's exciting news. Once I decorated them, I can sell them to for eight hundred dollars simoleons. Wow, that is very impressive. And that Willow's just feeling super tired and uncomfortable. Yona, however, is happy from the big news. Maybe he wants like a full three bears family, you know? Sorry for him. He's not the one that has to carry them into labor, is he? Oh my gosh! And the baby won't stop today. Almost as if giving us a hint of how like, hard life is going to become. She's trying to do a little bit of baking. Honestly, Coda Bear won't stop bawling. Look at this. I can even bake like fruit cakes now. I don't know if I can just sell those though, which is a little bit of a shame, but maybe we can just have it as like a celebration about the baby because, you know, we're so excited. <laughs> So excited. Definitely not actually pretty stressed, worried, and nervous right now. Oh, what's this decoration? Oh, I've never seen anything like this before. Even the dog's going crazy excited for it. Oh, oh that looks good. And I can see some super, <laughs> super non-stressed and excited for having a toddler and a baby at the same time faces in this house. I don't think we've done this since probably Erica and Connor. And yeah, I'm glad you're feeling like this because this is about the level of stress I'm hoping to see. Yeah, you don't get a chance to shower now. Think how little shower you're gonna get with a toddler, Yona. My woohoo percent might be too high because both Phoenix and Willow fell prey to the uh, risky woo-woos. It's, uh, it's always like five, eight, nine, or 10, but 10% does seem quite high. Oh my gosh, you've got morning sickness, okay. Great. Let's go and have a little throw up and a wee. Oh, and then look, the baby's awake and he's fallen. Wow, your life is just amazing at the moment, isn't it? You know what though? I'm like laughing at her for how scary and horrible her life is right now. She's actually happy. I know she's covered in stink and filth, but that's kind of part of being a new mom. Look at her face. She is actually really happy, which is cute. Oh my gosh. Look at her sleep. Yona's out taking Bjorn for a walk, so he can't help. She keeps waking up so happy though, even though she should be miserable. Will the baby be bef born bef uh, before or after um, this little one ages up into a toddler? I don't know. I'm kind of just letting the sim gods decide for themselves. Oh, Thorn Bailey won the lottery. Thorn Bailey. I feel like we know him. He's a celebrity. He's a celebrity and he won the lottery? Like what? That's not fair. Bless that Willow's having one of those days where the only thing she can really do is just survive enough to be awake. Yona, you're gonna have to take over the whole farm activities today, I'm afraid. Oh, bless him. Chase has come over again to look after the baby. I forgot that I gave him the key so he can kind of come whenever he wants. He is helping us out. I feel like he's starting to... No, I was, I was gonna say I feel like he started to get it right, but no, the baby's still bawling its eyes out. We have to wake up. We're still really tired. Oh my gosh, baby, please. Why? You just don't stop crying. You just never stop. You are a fussy little baby, okay? Little Coda. You've got the cutest name, but oh my gosh, you're so fussy. You're so fussy. Oh, and she's actually starting to look pregnant. Okay, this is good. I was worried because uh, Phoenix never showed it, but Willow is despite also being tiny. Okay, that's good. Man, and the elation of the Baby Bear Bakery has been quickly replaced by bombs. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is wrong with this child? What is wrong with this child? It never shuts up. Look at Willow's boobs. They're definitely like pregnancy boobs, I would say. Oh, look at this. He's feeling like her baby bump. I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh no, it does work. I was worried it wouldn't work because of the like miniature tummy that I have in my game, but it does, so that's really cute. And yeah, you're gonna have to break up this because the baby never shuts up. Oh, and her fun was so low and miserable, but I've allowed her to go out on a little dog walk. And even though apparently everything hurts, it's at least helped her fun out loads. Oh, Summer's over there. Man, if Summer's gone for a run, she's run really far because she's run all the way to Strangerville. Oh, look, she's telling her Summer that she's pregnant too. 
cute oh, moments yeah. all round. Wonder if That's Summer's getting joy. any ideas from that. Maybe she is. <laughs> and Yuna spent the whole day. Uh, it's saying my restaurant's not functional. I know it's because I've not started it yet. Uh, upgrading the toilet so that it doesn't get all gross every time she does a little morning sickness forms, which is very cute. Willow can now take family leave, but like she runs a farm. There is no family leave in this story, guys. Oh, and she's wet herself. I feel like it's gonna happen when you're pregnant. Like Yuna's a good man. He's just like, oh, I just clean that up. Nobody, nobody needs to know that. That happened. Oh, and Willow and her little heart is sleeping in the shower. Bless her. Definitely in third trimester gang. Look at her tummy now. But also, her face is the face of death. <laughs> Literally, she has the face of death right now. Oh my gosh. Coda, why are you so hard? You're like one of the hardest babies I've ever had. Yona's face as well. Oh, wow. Pink earrings to the bath. Interesting. But Yona also looking pretty dead to the world too. Oh, are they gonna do another baby? Oh, and she's gonna wee herself again. Oh, she might make it. Please make it. No, she didn't make it, gang. She did not make it. And the baby's crying again. It's because of her pregnancy. She's gonna pee herself again. Oh my gosh, abandon the walk. Get home right now. No, she's gonna pee herself again. Oh my gosh, she could die of embarrassment at this rate. She just can't, like... Keep her peas in her. Oh, have you just done it again? Have you got something wrong with your bladder? Is the baby on it? I don't understand. Look at her bladder going down again. Oh, Jesus. No, Chase. I can't meet you anywhere because I'm half dead. She just did it again. I swear she's peed herself like five times this episode. And she's gone into labor, which means I think we're going to have a baby and a toddler at the same time. I can't really see a way around it at this point. Oh, she's going to pee herself again. No, get to the toilet. You can't do this again. Oh my gosh, please. Please, 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 please make it to the toilet. No, you're not gonna, you're not gonna. Oh my gosh, six times is that now? I feel like as well, they do, they do a natural birth at home, which is why I'm not, um, oh, thanks for helping again, Chase. Which is why I'm not like bringing her to the hospital because I think they do a home birth. <gasps> and oh my gosh, the baby's on the way. The baby's on the way. I can't hear anything, but it says she's having a baby. <laughs> I don't know if there's audio being picked up. <gasps> it's a girl. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need a girl bear name. I need to go back to my video and see what you guys said. Oh, they've had a boy and a girl, so lucky. Okay, Nita means bear in Choctaw Native American, if it's a girl. Ursa means she bear. Nita again. Dove means bear. Turi, we've quite, had quite a few Turis. Nita again. The top comment was Nita though, so I think we go for Nita. Two more bears, and oh my gosh, I've just realized they're all Collins. Oh my gosh, you guys need to get married you guys need to get married and yona we need to know what your actual surname is we have two babies at the same time this is a living nightmare <laughs> i'm gonna have to replace this bed and put in two of these and if you thought things were hard before <laughs> You ain't seen nothing yet. Because now we have two screaming, crying babies. And the fact that my audio is cut out to me is probably a sign. I need to go ahead and end this recording right now. But let me know what you think of the names uh, Coda and Nita. They have been incredibly... Well, to be fair, Nita has been hard, actually, because she made Willow keep peeing. They've both been incredibly hard so far, and it's been a very tough episode. But we have the Baby Bear Bakery. We have the land to start building it, so I'm excited to start getting on that. We need to save money for it, though. We need to up our baking and cooking skills. Let me know what you think of the two new baby bears joining the family. Oh, let me know what you thought of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in another one. Bye. I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it's dark When it's dark I told them I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want If you want I can be a fighter